What is going on guys, one more here bring out a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Um, first of all, before we get into the stuff, I do want to send out a uh, that prayer and thoughts are going to Dak. Um, I know he's had a rough year with his brother committing suicide and you know, 2020 has been a rough year for everybody anyways. And um, so I know he's been dealing with a lot of anxiety from that and this injury, the compound fracture, ankle dislocation is um not going, uh, I know it sucks. Uh, you have a four to six month surgery recovery. So I'm glad your surgery went well. And, I just went, and um, thoughts and prayers go out to you. Uh, it's bigger than football at the end of the day. You know, I hate the Cowboys with a passion, but um, Never, it's never good to see anybody go to something like that. And um, yeah, I, I teared up a little bit seeing him yesterday because I just knew how disappointed he was. It's going to put him in a weird spot when he goes to contract negotiations because durability and stability for his future is going to be in question. Um, anyway, so into the video. <sighs> this is not a fun video. Um, we played the Rams yesterday. Uh, I'm trying to find something decent to say. Um, Kyle Allen looked all right. He looked bad. He had a really good drive where he went for the touchdown. Uh, he, he was playing all right until he got hurt. Um, you know, we were in the game even when we shouldn't have been score-wise. You know, it's like we were technically had a chance. However you want to interpret that. If we really had a chance or not. Um... Brandon Sheriff comes back. I don't know if he'll come back this week, but he should be back after the bye week. Um, we need to move Wes Schweitzer over to left guard. Put Brandon Sheriff at his normal position. Get Wes Martin the heck out of there. Like, Aaron Donald's a beast. I'm not taking anything away from that. He's two-time defensive player of the year. When the, the, the guy I'd be most terrified of to piss off in person. But four sacks is not necessary. And... It's not good, no matter what position or your skill level. So he needs to get out of there. West Washington's doing all right at right guard, so we just need to get him over to left guard. I think that'll make a big improvement. Um, uh, man, offense, now we got a first down in the whole second half. Take it as it is. Um... It was a really hard game to watch. It was exciting at times, but it was very hard to watch. Um, can never get the running game going. Got to McCord a couple times. Uh, Jalen Rams Jalen Ramsey's a prick. Always been a prick. Will continue to be a prick. And he um did an unnecessary help to helmet Kyle Allen, which I said at the whole time, but you know, I saw about the good thing of what happened yesterday. Alex Smith freaking played again. Alex Smith. We need to dress up. We're like, he'll probably play. But he played again. And for what he had to work with, it wasn't bad. Because first time we were on the field, it looked like he was trying to get comfortable out there. He'd, um, and they didn't take it easy on him because Aaron Donald played piggyback on Alex Smith. And Alex Smith carried him for a couple steps until he fell down. Um, the legs looked strong. He looked confident in running and getting tackled. He didn't play scared. Um, I saw his family. They are probably terrified. I'm sure his wife told him you don't need to play again, but you know, you can't take that warrior mentality out of a guy. And you know, he said he doesn't want to tell his kids what he did in football, he wants to show them. Um, Kyle Allen's going to be starting this week again. Um, I think that's a smart thing just to give him another shot because he actually was handling the game well. Um, Alex Smith didn't have any time in the pocket, he was getting hit. Um, so I wouldn't say yesterday's an example of how his play level is. Um, because the Rams were just eating us up with Michael Brockers, Reader, um, and Aaron Donald was absolutely ripping us apart. So yeah, it was just a, it was a bad game to watch. We'll hopefully we'll have a bounce back. Um, good interception by Kendall Fuller. That was awesome. I really enjoyed seeing that. I'm um, so good to have him back. Um. It's amazing that we have Kendall back. He's doing a big help. Three interceptions in two weeks, which is crazy. 
just some mad numbers and um you know he's balling out i think he's happy to be back in washington um defense still is strong yesterday the secondary has got to do something i think we need to get rid of troy Aki from back there we got to get cameron curl and i'd say bringing earl thomas whole workout let's see what happens um Yeah, I see. Bring in Old Thomas. Just see what he can do. See what get a, get. Let him meet the players. Let them um, kind of see if they decide they feel comfortable bringing him into the locker room. Uh, say the same with Antonio Brown, but I've been saying that too much. I'm not going to harp on that too much. Um, Jeremy Sprinkles kind of come down with some of those receptions. He has no excuse for dropping it. Rain doesn't excuse your pay to catch or pay to block. You do those things and you're doing good, and he's doing neither. So it was, and I'm not full of energy this game because it was it was not a good game. I said it was just kind of a down day for football, um, except for the primetime game. Seahawks and Vikings was pure football greatness. That was some fun football to watch, but um, yeah, it's. It was a hard game to watch yesterday, you know. It made Alex coming back in. It was one reason I kept watching the whole game. Because I just want to see Alex play. Um, I think this week we had the Giants will do better. I'll do, of course, my breakdown on Friday of how I think this game is going to go against the Giants. But we have a tough schedule ahead. It's going to be Giants, bye week, Cowboys, Giants. No. Giants, bye week, and then Cowboys. Giants, Lions, Bengals, Cowboys. I think that's it. Um, so all very winnable games. So we just got to get on a good streak. The, the division is very much in the air. Cowboys beat the Giants barely without Dak. So Giants are not a good team at all. So I think we're in a good position. It was just a bad game yesterday. Uh, conditions made it even worse. Uh, it's kind of third as our worst game of the season. Throw it away. Forget about it. And uh, let's move on to week six. We're here. I hope you'll have a great day. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to hit this thumbs up button if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button so you're notified every single time I'm going bring it up soon. Make sure to comment down your thoughts below and help y'all stay safe. Have a great week. And again, sorry for the downer video, but it was just a downer day. But so happy to see Alex back with a tremendous thing that was. I teared up a little bit when Alex walked back onto that field. So amazing. I just hope y'all all have a great day. Um, Praise up for that. Uh, Praise so for Alex also, because I mean he's still recovering. So um, just that hopefully, you know, it's not too sore today. And uh, yeah, hope you have a great day. I'm a Morrison. I'm out. Peace.